Welcome to another episode of The Disruptive Marketer. I'm your host, Jeffrey Colon. In this week's episode, we ask the question, was Brexit or the British exit from the European Union a marketing problem? Now, what we mean by this, and of course, we don't want to, um, or I should say, I don't want to say that those who voted to remain are... I should say, I don't want to say that those who wanted to leave are ignorant or stupid or xenophobic or racist or a bunch of old people. Look, there's enough people who are saying those things on Twitter and online. Let's actually get to, to the, or dissect the bigger issue, which is why was, uh, why was the leave party or those who voted to leave so big when most polls and stats and data said that basically it looked likely that England was going to remain or the United Kingdom was going to remain. So a lot of this probably goes down to being a communications or a marketing issue. If we really dissect what was going on, there was a lot of disinformation, which of course we see in a ton of political marketing campaigns but a lot of disinformation really on, well, what would happen or what could the possibilities be if England or the United Kingdom decided to leave the European Union? And of course, we saw a lot of Google activity, a lot of search activity the day after the vote with many queries like, what happens if England leaves the EU? Or what is the EU? And those are queries that we should actually see on search engines moving into a vote, not after the fact. There wasn't a lot of heavy search queries that uh, uh, on those topics on Google or Bing. And and it's interesting because I think, again, marketing is the issue here. Many of the people on the leave side of the spectrum were pushing a lot of information based on They were going to take a lot of the money saved by not being part of the EU again and put that into the National Health Service. Of course, that came out later uh, as uh, not necessarily being true. So there's a lot of things that uh, were, were being spread. One of the things that I think was really interesting, though, is for those on the Remain side, they were using a lot of data and stats, but they weren't putting it together in, in, a, in a way that was emotionally resonant. They weren't really explaining in an empathetic manner to the rest of the country why the United Kingdom should stay in the European Union. And it gets to the heart of what this particular episode is about, which is you can have all the data and statistics in the world. And I think marketers, are getting lazy when it comes to having lots of data because they think it's their savior. But if you don't take that data to put together a creative story that emotionally resonates with people from the heart and not necessarily in the head, which is crowded to begin with in our attention deficit disorder society filled with devices and cameras and microphones and all types of distractions. If we don't come up with stories that actually resonate with people's hearts, we're gonna lose a lot of battles in the future. And one actually that I think we have to pay particular attention to is a battle in November that may even trump the Brexit decision. I'm Jeffrey Colon. This is another episode of The Disruptive Marketer. We'll check you next time.